Okay, now, one of the big innovations that they added, well, not really innovation, but one cool little thing they added is that at the beginning of boss fights you have shitloads of rings, and it's possible to collect um, over 50 of them. And you can actually be supersonic during the boss fights if you have all the Chaos Emeralds, that is. Which is a really cool thing, I think. Of course, we don't have all the Chaos Emeralds, because we can't be supersonic. Oh, would you look at that. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck nostalgia, we're just going with uh, tentacles. Right, so yeah, pretty cool boss here, don't you think? You know what, it's funny, because... Um, See that, another thing about the bosses in this game, right? I absolutely love these Robotnik bosses, I think. Frankly, I think they're some of the best Sonics ever had, if I'm honest, but... See the Metal Sonic boss fights? I can't even fucking stand them! They are annoying as shit! Um, allow me to demonstrate as I'm uh, going through the game. You know, but... Uh, how much they bug me, but these, this boss here is uh, very good, I, I like it a lot. Uh oh, more tentacles. You know, I, I like the fact that it's something original, but it's also something that you'd expect from a Mega Drive game, but at the same time it's something that they couldn't possibly do on the Mega Drive because of limitations and shit. You know, you can really have this sort of level of animation and whatnot. Well actually, no, no, you can. They've had tentacles before. You're all expecting me to make a hentai joke, aren't you? Well, I'm not going to. Look at those tentacles uh, spew their juice into Robotnik's, you know, protruding. Oh, look at him shoot. Oh, God, Duck, you are fucking sad, by the way. Right, is that it? Yeah, here we go. Victory pose. Right, next level we've got... White Park Zone! Which is all snowy and shit. And has roller coasters in the background. And there's the red ring, which we are not going to get, because fuck red rings. Actually, I don't, I don't think I have a single one yet, do I? Again, like I said, they do absolutely bugger all, so fuck them. And that was totally a panda bear bad nick. Sonic the Hedgehog taking out endangered species. Ah, oh, you bubbles. I love doing that, by the way. I guess I said, did I say that during um, episode one? You know, that sort of like rhythm you can do with bad nicks in a chain like that. You don't have to use the homing attack, but you can sort of do that and 
get them together and we're blowing through snow the new. Right, we're on snowboards now and you gotta keep your balance on them actually. Oh Jesus, no way, I'm getting up there. Oh, another little observation here, by the way. Um, you see the um, speed boosters in Sonic and Dimps games, you know? Why is it that... You know, I'm not moaning that there's too many of them, okay? I'm not saying that. I hear that so much. It's so fucking annoying, but... Um, one thing I do notice about them is that they kind of put Sonic into a ball automatically for a few seconds, and then just all of a sudden he's running again. I don't know why. I always thought that was kind of weird, because obviously... Um, the classic games don't do that, and Sonic Generations doesn't do that, so it's clearly something that Dimps themselves like to do. Oh, <laughs> uh, Let's see if we can get two Chaos Emeralds! So many bad memories of this. These special stages. Anybody see the new Sonic Lost World uh, footage that they released? I think I was talking about this when I was recording part one, actually, but uh, god damn it. It's looking so good. Right, and I think like Sonic Rush, if you get enough speed and go up the edge of the ramp, you'll uh, do a little... Ah, there we go. Yeah, you can also... That's another thing about these special stages, they're non-linear, which I quite like. Oh, you... See, that was a bit where you should have been boosting Sonic. Yeah, I think I got enough anyway. And I've only just noticed, actually, they totally kept the kaleidoscope effect from the first game, you know? Oh. Ah, oh, tut fucking tut. Um, that was for the sake of the Let's Play to show you what happens when you actually fail the Chaos Emerald. Anyway, White Park Act 2. Come on, let's go. Nah, I still got an extra life. It's like, oh, you fucked up. Oh, that's too bad. Here's an extra life. I hope you die. Because <laughs> you know you're totally going to die. Okay, this is the level everybody seems to hate. For just holding right all the time. Me, I'm too busy rocking out to the, uh, you know, Twinkle Park remix and shit. To care that much, but... Yeah, there's, this is a pretty quick level. <laughs> See that right there? I love doing that, you know.
That's a glorious Ferris wheel in the background, by the way. So yeah, there you go, that's the act already done. <laughs> very, very easy. Okay, maybe all the complaints about this level were kind of justified. And we're back in the Watto. Right, I'm not sure what these walrus's powers actually are, but we can break through them quite easily. No, we can't, eh? Oh, you've met your match. Smash through solid stone and all that, but when it comes to ice, no, no way. Buzz, buzz. Oh. 